Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's time to continue exploring the Utilec Complex. Oh, and before we continue, I do have one Praxis to spend. It's been a while since I put anything into hacking, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one into stealth. So right now, I have level 1, which gives me a reduction in the likelihood of node capture detection by 15%, and the next level is gonna kick that up to 30%. Okay, I remember I already went into here, right? Yeah, yeah, that took me into the restricted zone down there where all the food is, and I turned off the power and stuff. And then I remember I also jumped up there. Yeah, so let's continue on this way. Okay, so we've already been down on this level. Oh wait, I originally came from up here, didn't I? Yeah, this is where we originally came from. So, how do I get to those higher levels up there? You know, I see those bridges up there. Oh. That was easy. <laughs> There's a ladder. I was at the peak just now. Did you hear what happened? We heard the cops showed up and beat some guy to death. Yes, it was horrible. Did he, you know, do anything? He gave them some attitude when they hassled him, but it was sick. He didn't deserve that. A police minority brutalizing an unarmed majority. That sounds familiar. What does hypothermia feel like? So I gotta remember, I'm looking for some place, some secret path that's up. So some vertical secret path that's related to the quest. Um, yeah, Tibor. Remember I was on their computer? I initiated that chat with somebody who thought I was Tibor and I impersonated Tibor and they mentioned the secret path up above. So that's something I want to find. I don't think I have to find it. So we're just supposed to look for Tibor in the Narrows, but I want to find it. Everywhere. Cops looking at us sideways, accusing us, assuming we're criminals. Some teenagers threw Molotov cocktails at them. The cops beat them so bad, one of those poor kids died. Well, they did try to set them on fire. Hey, you're either with us or against us. You knew? Ooh. Ah. Don't have the energy. I'm not patient enough to wait. Rank rifle. Pretty rare. Oh, crap. So many potential areas for secret pathways. Like, all of this looks so climbable, doesn't it? But I don't think you're supposed to get up there. In fact, what level are we on? Level 6. Oh, there's two more levels, but yeah, we're not supposed to get up there. Oh, on this level, there's a merchant. I do definitely want to go to them. 
Yeah, because I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm pretty full up on stuff. Another Braxis just for exploring. Sweet. Um, <laughs> I found the penguin prince. Oh, I love them. I'm just going to leave them there. I'm not going to mess with them. They're the rightful ruler. That's how you know you've done good, trying to look for places off the beaten path when you start finding little, like, easter eggs and silly stuff. Ooh, security rating 5. Victor Marchenko. Hello, brother. Today is a momentous day for our movement. Today is the day that you fulfill your pledge. Not just to me, brother, but to Ark and to all of our augmented brothers and sisters throughout the world. I'm sorry that your time with us here was not long, but know that your memory will live on forever. Today you will become legend. Huh. That does sound like this person is about to become a suicide bomber. To Melissa Burke and Ivan Burke. Hi, you two. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but Ivan's licensed consultant application was deep sixed. I don't know by whom, but whoever they are, they're high enough in city politics that I was told to stop asking. So it looks like yet another avenue of getting you both out of Utilek and back here, where you belong, has been unsuccessful. I wish this time had been different. I'll keep trying for you. From Melissa to Ivan, my love, I'm writing this because I want you to have it with you always, no matter what happens. I want you to know that I am I am now and have always been proud of you. We cannot deny things have been very difficult for us lately, but I've never ever regretted my decision to accompany you to Gullum. You are my husband, I love you, I trust you, and I believe in you. Here's forever, Melissa. Goodbye, Penguin Prince. Yeah, it looks like that's... I think that's... Yeah, that seems to be pretty much entirely it on level 7, except for this little... Tiny ledge of restricted zone over there. Wherever that goes. See if I can find any secrets. Nah, that's not going anywhere. And this is back where we've already been. Okay. Um, let me see if I can find my way to this merchant. So how do we get there? It looks like we gotta come up... I guess through the stairs? Stairs lead down here. So just down one floor? This place is so confusing. On this floor over here. Uh, I have no idea how to get there. Yeah, I don't see any way to get to the merchant or even just at all to this other section over here from this whole like line of places that I've been exploring all the different levels of here so I'm thinking maybe I have to go into the narrows and then from there I can reach it hopefully so let's continue on to the narrows yeah so we can't go through there there was um 
There was a vent. Yeah, here we go. Take us behind enemy lines. Oh, right. I could do this and I could hack stuff through that. Like, I could hack that. There. Doesn't hurt. I mean, didn't really accomplish much, I suppose. Oh, close it. Oh, they're suspicious. Oh, I think they noticed that I turned off the lasers. Yeah, they're like, what the hell? Nothing here. We're good. Come on. Hopefully they'll come back in this direction. Can get them around the corner. Patrol, still nothing to report. Getting reports of trouble up there. Chain of command. Don't think anyone's gonna see us. Yeah, they've got their back to us. Look at all these weapons. I don't think I can unlock these things. Just for show. You know, let's. I, I have a Praxis point. I want to spend it on even more energy. Let's increase the capacity even more. There we go. Nice. Oh, I thought that was a security computer. I guess I could take out this guard. Then again, there's all sorts of people watching. They might freak out. I probably shouldn't. Ooh. Oh, that might be Tibor. Maybe. Looks like they might be in a holding cell or something. They don't look like a... They're police. Oh. I could have gone this way just to get in. That just leads out to the main area. Yeah, no reason to go there now. Hey, brother, watch it. The cops are everywhere today. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. Yeah, I saw a message on your computer. Someone was warning you that you might end up here. You... You hacked my computer. Why? I was trying to find you. Doesn't matter. You know... You know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. Tibor, I can get you out of here. And then what? They go back to my housing unit and take me again? And what if you're not there? No! No! Please, that will just make it worse. They know who I am, they... They went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety! Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. All right, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker, or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galois. 
He imports items for Talos, Neuropazine, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My keycard to get to Ark territory is gone. One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. By the way, on my computer, who was warning me? Some guy named Old Blue Eye. You know him? Uh, no. Uh, listen, Dushan, my brother, was taken. He didn't do anything. If you see him, please help him. Right. I'll see what I can do. Shikane, get a message to Miller. Sokol's backed out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Tinson. This arsehole obviously can't be trusted. Let me know when you're in. Alright, so I got a couple secondary objectives now. I've got the keycard and free Dusan. Yeah, I'm supposed to find them. I'm assuming they're down here, right? Probably not too far away. God, look at this place. It's so cool looking. Also horrendously dangerous. Looks like a bundle of heat lamps. Ah, another exosuit down there. Oh my, I can actually get to these. Of course, if I take them right now, they're just going to convert into ammo. Anyone that I already have the weapon for. Which I guess is just a combat rifle. If I wanted to be really, really, really stingy and get as much money as possible, I would sell each individual weapon to a merchant and then come back here and grab one of each of them again and then sell them. But, I mean, bah. Yeah, I don't even have room for those. Christ, it sounds so close, but it's beneath me. They're alive, at least. There's bloody smears on the inside there, though. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's not look over there. Well, I guess these aren't Dusan if I can't even speak with them. <laughs> it's a cool little detail. Bucket to catch the leak. Whoa. What the hell are they punching? You got it. Shit, I wonder if that's Tucson. Ah, probably is, isn't it? Uh, hmm. I can't... I don't think there's any way for me to take out... Like, how in the hell do I take out a exos suit person non-lethally? Oh yeah, something I've meant to do for a while, a long, long, long time ago, feels like a million years. I went to customize the weapon, and... Yeah, that's right, I could spend my, uh, my crafting parts directly on increasing ammo capacity. There's absolutely no reason to do that, though. I, yeah, six is tons of ammo. That's, yeah, totally pointless. Um, let's see about the stun gun, though. Yeah, I can increase that ammo capacity as well. No reason to. security zone. Oh, wait. There's some more prisoners over there. One of those could be... Could be, uh... Crap, I just forgot their name. Started with a D. Dusan. 
I can permanent, I mean, uh, temporarily disable the camera, but I would prefer to permanently do it, so I want to get into a security room and just outright disable it. And I feel like that might be in here. It doesn't matter if they're a grandmother or a schoolboy. If they have a log, they're a threat. Am I right? I was saying that before the incident. I can't believe they bomb our city and complain about their rights. Exactly. Rucker talks about Augurites like they're a different race or something. Are their children born augmented? No, to hell with their rights. We should just get rid of all of them. <laughs> Talk about them like they're a different race. Will you treat them like they're a different race? Is this I can do a takedown? What's that gonna look like? I gotta try. Oh, you can pull them backwards over a thing? Oh, that is so cool. Shh, shh. Right, one of them's supposed to have a keycard on him. One of the police. So it might be in my best interest to do a takedown on everybody. Um, also, that's a non-restricted zone and it's a ladder. Or, uh, stairs. That might take me up to the merchant, maybe? Possibly. Such a cool ability. Oh, they're coming back. They're, they might be suspicious when they see that they're out. Let me see if I can throw something for a distraction. I guess a wooden crate would work. Hmm. Awfully big, though. Oh, it doesn't even fit through the hole. Oh yeah, market is that way. So that probably will take me to the merchant. Alarm? No, 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 no. Do they see the body? Oh, I guess you can see a little bit through there. I think we're okay? It said hostile, but now it, there's nothing up there. I think we're good. There's nobody else around here. They don't... They didn't hit an alarm. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we're good. Those weird, cool lamp things. The Chinese city of Hangzhou may soon be getting a facelift if rumors floating down the Yangtze River can be believed. Built on two levels and home to significant augmented population, the city sustained heavy damage during the Aug incident and has yet to rebuild many sectors. Yet just last month, Chinese authorities were seen meeting with architects from the Santo Group the European-based construction giant that is best known in Prague for building the Udalek complex. Certainly, China has architects of our own we could work with, an anonymous source inside China stated, but sprawling urban developments are reshaping the global landscape and Santo has years of experience in future-proofing them. Just look at what they've done with Dallas and Seattle. Does this mean that Hangzhou's two-tiered skyline will soon be obscured by thick concrete walls? No one at Santo is available to comment. 
crackdown on unlicensed AUGs. Residents of the already overcrowded Udalek complex need to make room for 20,000 more people. That's the number state police expect to apprehend at checkpoints in coming weeks once Prague updates its augmentation regulations. Many previously licensed citizens will not be eligible for the new T-73 permit verification card. This time I'm not going to mistake that for uh, for painkillers. It's a shot of nice whiskey. Collapse of an industry. Part 1 Falling Star Seraf Industries. At its height, Seraf Industries was moderately sized. They employed only about 1,500 people. I'm sorry, how is 1,500 people a moderately sized company? Where they distinguished themselves was in creating progressive forward-thinking custom-made mechanical augmentations. Their strength was innovation and it earned them the respect of the industry and the scientific community. The brainchild of founder David Seraf, Seraf Industries was poised to expand the human enhancement technology market to the masses when the AUG incident occurred. It was their death knell. David Seraf himself was badly, badly injured during the incident. His company was eviscerated Hit hard by regulatory measures, cancelled contracts, and anti-augmentation sentiment, Seraph Industries declared bankruptcy in 2028. Many of its assets were snatched up by Taiyang Medical, one of the only augmentation producing companies to survive the industry's collapse. Oh, I just noticed a cool little detail. It's kind of hard to see, but at the very bottom right of this e-reader right here, you can see like a, a thumbprint. Because this whole thing looks like it's glass. So I guess that's, yeah, it's a thumbprint of somebody that was reading this thing. That's cool. I wonder if they all have that. And I just never noticed. So I don't, yeah, I still don't quite understand what upgrading my... Spending my practice points on upgrading my biocell capacity does exactly. You know what? I'm tired of not knowing. I'm going to Google how the... What determines what level you regenerate to? Because it goes down over time from a max and then it goes down and down and down. What determines that? Oh, now I get it. So it seems like it's the turning on of augments. Like the activation of an augment that takes down the uh, max level that you can recharge to. So with something like Smart Vision that I keep using all the time, I keep toggling it on and off constantly. That reduces it very fast because it's something you toggle so frequently. So for example, let's take another Biozel. So look at the bar down there. See how there's a little bit of redness to the right of that bar when I just toggle that little red part and then disappears? That's showing you how much your max has reduced. So if you keep doing it, notice the red bar gets quite big. So we just lost all that capacity. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess increasing the capacity does help, but just the nature of smart vision and the fact that it gets reduced when you turn it on and off means it's going to go down sort of fast. But it's definitely lasting longer, though. Right, now we have the improved stealth. Nice. I don't have any reveals. We'll just go for it. Anomaly detected. Access granted. Attention, in spite of the current man in <laughs> in spite of the current mana date. Mana date? The priority must remain the prevention of items being shipped into the complex through non-official means, especially weapons. The AUGs do not need any more advantages. Particular attention must be paid to goods intended for ARC. They are rumored to have a very efficient system in place. If we can constrict their flow of neuropazine, we will be halfway to flushing them out of their ghetto fortress.
attention. Our people in Prague have reason to believe there is a shopkeeper in the Stedry Markets who smuggles items both for Ark and for the Diwali's. If we can find him and shut him down, this would be a huge blow to contraband in Utilek. Yeah, can I just say how horrifying this is? They're trying to constrict Ark's flow of neuropazine to flush them out. That's... They're trying to constrict the flow of basic life-saving saving medication. That's not good. That's really not good. Gas mine? Never seen that before. Ooh, this one's pretty tough. I love that ability. I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> and I can pick it up now. Oh, and that's something I'm going to actually want to use, because, you know, gas, just like a gas grenade, it's non-lethal. So where does this go to? Oh, is this... This is the market, isn't it? Oh, there's another merchant over there. I don't even think that's... Yeah, that wasn't even the one on level 6 that I was looking at. Hmm. Well, let me go sell my stuff real fast. Guess what I just learned. Right around... Are you looking for supplies? Are these people Ark? If you're looking to take a piss, you can do it in the street like everybody else. If you're looking for Virzbolski, you can fuck off. I'm not looking for either. Well then, handsome. You must be looking to deal. My name's Entity, and I've got the sweetest tech in GC. How may I serve you? Entity is such a cool name. So how did you wind up dealing tech in Gollum City? All the brothels were full, so I had no choice but to fall back on an old hobby to make ends meet. Which tech company was it that cut you loose? Bobson Synthetics. I was a biocell designer. Then I wasn't. The incident fried some pretty delicate shit in my hand. Can't really do my best work anymore, you know, but... Hey, whatever. That's downer territory. I get by fine. But you say we change the subject. When I walked in here, you mentioned someone named Worsbowski. Who is that? My asshole ex. He used to run this place with me before he ran out. Thought you were one of his new friends. With the kind of welcome you gave me, you must not think much of his new friends. Don't get me wrong. Ark does a lot of good in the ghetto, but... Your boyfriend fell in with Ark? Ex. And I get it, I guess. He always wanted to make a difference. Ark keeps a lot of people safe in here. Keeps them fed, clothed. They give a lot of people hope. I get that, but... I don't know. Something about organized anything scares the shit out of me. You think Ark is dangerous? No. I don't know. Maybe. Shit. Probably. But that's not what scares me. It's the collective, hive-minded mentality that freaks me out. It's why I stay away from religion. And book clubs. <laughs> so, listen, we're getting to know each other here. Is there... something else I can do for you? Show me what you've got. Well, if you're going to make it sound naughty, I have no choice, do I? I thought that sounded weird. No, but seriously, I'm, I'm just gonna shop. Okay, sold a bunch of stuff, freed up some more inventory space. Uh, they sell multi-tools. I don't think I need any of those, but they do have hacking software, which I do need. Let's grab some reveal. I've got none of that, so actually, let's grab all of it. Um, let's grab a couple stopworm. Yeah, that should be good. Good looks and an eye for high-end tech. Mother did warn me. I'm hoping there's something else I can do for you. N no Actually, Entity, I think I'll just show myself out. Oh, sad face. Well, promise me you won't stay gone too long, darling. 
Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, now that I've freed up some inventory space, I think it's time to come back here and tackle the prisoners here. <laughs>